Yeah, okay. Now let's definitely start it now. Hello everyone. This is the Born of Bread demo. Um, I just played through this thing and um, I'm gonna give it a, a demo review. Uh, sort of like a little, little review of the little Born of Bread demo. See if I'd recommend playing it. I guess you, you can always recommend playing a demo uh, just because it's like, uh, you know, it's like a, a, a good way of, of playing a little bit of a game and getting an idea of what the game is like. Uh, and then you avoid buying it, if, in case you don't like it. If you do like it, you can buy it. But I mean, uh, how good was this demo? Would I say that, would I say that this demo made me want to play the game? Like, how good does the game look? I'd say it's, like, kind of cool. Um, uh, I'm not sure if this is what Paper Mario's like. I guess it's not, it's not quite, it quite, doesn't quite have the nostalgia fa factor of, uh, of Paper Mario or whatever, but it's, um... The characters are a bit flat looking, right, in this like sort of like little 3D world, so might be a little bit Paper Mario inspired, and it's very, very cute. Um, I can see myself picking this game up on a discount. Um, I think the demo is kind of lacking some of the features. I think even though the demo's not that long, it's, it, it, I think it lasts about an hour. Um, for that reason, like, what if I just want to play a little bit of the demo? What if I don't want to sit down for a full hour and play through this thing? Um, um, with that in mind, um, why not, why not do me the favor of, uh, why not do me the favor of, uh, letting me save the game? Uh, I felt like I, I could have explored the demo a little bit more by I sort of like was just exhausted by the end and I couldn't save. So um, I actually quit out of it one time, hoping that it would save for me when I quit, or at least ask me, are you sure you want to quit? It didn't, it just just quit. It didn't you ask me, are you sure? Um, all right, all right, let me just check, double check that. So if I, if I hit quit right now. Main, when I hit main menu, it just takes me straight to the main menu. It doesn't even ask me, are you sure? And I wanna have to do the whole thing all over again. But that being said, um, you know, it's a cute little game, like like a typical little cute RPG where you, you find enemies and you take a swing at them in order to uh, in order to get the first attack in or if they catch you first. And they move pretty fast. Um, but you know, it's like it's like a cute little game. It's not it's not overly challenging for me. Uh, I think it might be a little bit challenging for, for uh, young kids, so they might help they might need your help to play it if you're you're gonna play it with a, a child. Um, uh, but I think it's it's not it's not an overwhelming challenge. There's, there's enough items that I, I felt like I had too many items. So um, uh, I guess they, they, like if, if if a kid were playing and they could figure out how to use the items, which hopefully they could, they probably wouldn't have too hard a time with it. Um, yeah. And it's just like a cute little turn-based RPG thing, and um, I, you know, I'm, I, I don't know if I can see myself playing this game all the way through, but um, I guess I guess I thank the demo for t showing me what it was, and um, I, I would say it didn't didn't successfully pull me in and get me hyped. Um, I think it's just the beginning of the game that it shows you, which. If you have a great beginning, I guess I guess it works out um, to do that. But I think I think what they should have shown was like one of the better, more action-packed parts of the game instead of the beginning of the game and the tutorial. Because tutorials are not really fun, even though even though you can. I guess I guess for for a demo, you might want to you, you might want to you might feel like you want to give a tutorial, but. Maybe you could just add in a little tutorial in the middle of the game, like, like, find the best part of the game, the very best part of the game, with the coolest stuff in it, right? Like, maybe even a trailer. Maybe even incorporate, like, a freaking trailer into the demo. Uh, yeah, some of the other demos I've played have done that, and showed, showed me, like, a bunch of stuff that I'm going to be seeing in the future. And, um, yeah, so I, I would say that this, this demo didn't really pull me in. And I'm not, I'm not sufficiently hyped to play this game. So it failed in that respect. I'm going to give this demo a 7 out of 10. Uh, as to whether or not I want to play the game, um, 
it's about the same. I, I, I expect this game to be about a 7 out of 10. Maybe a 7.5 out of 10. Uh, it's like a, it looks like a good, a good, cute game that seems like it'd be kind of fun. I can, I can see myself playing this. Just that there's so many other good games that, like, a 75 doesn't really attract my attention that much. I'm not, I'm not emotionally invested in the characters, so yeah, maybe realistically speaking, like, I, it's like I could play this game, but I probably won't. Okay. I'd rather play. Why play a 75 when you play an 80? Uh, you know, why play this when I can play God of War, which I haven't played yet, or the Spider-Man game, which I haven't played yet, or the new Undertale stuff coming out that I haven't played yet. Uh, just to, I wanted to mention something that was like an indie game <laughs> that was a pulpy end. And now just that would be like, all like, why play this when I can play a triple A game? Anyway, um, yeah, um, <clears throat> so, um, that's that, um, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's the, uh, that's the review. I will see y'all next time. Please, please like, subscribe. Uh, leave a comment below, um, and uh, uh, click the bell icon for notifications. Bye, everybody. Uh, stay facing gameplay. Full video.